Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying three kind energy bars. These were sent to us from Sarah in California, so thank you very, very much, Sarah. I've actually seen these energy bars. Um, she had let me know that she was sending them to me, so I, I didn't buy them, but like the very next day after she told me that, um, I spotted them in Meyer. So I do know they sell them um, in other parts of the world besides California. Uh, <laughs> this is the Chocolate Chunk. This is the peanut butter. They have the dark chocolate peanut butter. They all have 10 grams of protein and are 35% less sugar than the leading energy bars. Uh, sustained energy from 100% whole grains. Uh, they are gluten-free. Yes, they're all gluten-free. Uh, these are um, in line with like a cliff bar as far as calories go. So this is a 60 gram bar and it is 230 calories. So... And, and the, honestly, the shape of it and everything looks like a Cliff Bar. So, I think that's what they're, they were going for. So, this is the chocolate chunk. And it, you can see it's very big. Yeah, so it's chunk, it's hunky. Looks like a soft baked bar. Tastes mm. just like a Cliff Bar. If you've ever had the... Um, I think they call it chocolate chip. I could see a chocolate chip flavor there. But it's a it's in a blue. Um, it's funny because the cliff is in a blue box, just like that. I said they do it on purpose. It tastes just like that. It's I mean it's like the same thing. You no, would think you were eating a cliff bar. That's good. There is a little bit of a protein bar kind of flavor to it. A see, little, I don't get that at all. I got all. a touch of grittiness from yeah, it. But, but no, Kevin's but more sensitive bad. than me. It's not bad though. I could eat it. Yeah, uh, these are 32 carbs, so, uh, and they have 10 grams of protein. Mm -hmm. uh, I said that at the beginning, though. I like that, um, but I like Cliff Bar, so I'm just, I'm, the reason I keep throwing that out is because some people have told me very specifically they don't like Cliff Bar, so if you do, these, you won't want to get these. So, this is the peanut butter. It's 250 calories. Looks the same. Wow. I love the peanut butter immediately. You got a lot of peanut flavor. Mm -hmm. Not just peanut. You get a peanut butter mm -hmm. flavor. Which is a little sweeter than peanuts. That is full. If you like peanuts, peanut butter, and you want a lot of textures going on. I like that a mm -hmm. lot. I it's think it's, it's sweet. There's a, it's not overly sweet, but there is a sweetness to it. Hey, I like the sweetness level of that one much better than I did the chocolate. One. Yeah, and the chocolate, this is, yeah. I, I keep saying it, it's just like the clip. Yeah. Um, but I, I, it hasn't been that long ago that I had bought a box of these, that's why I know. Uh, the, the, the peanut butter, it's it's just a sweeter flavor. Mm -hmm. it, it tastes like you've used a jar of Jif peanut butter yeah. to make it. I'd much rather buy that than the other one. I still get the slight protein bar flavor. Not quite as much grittiness, but I do get a little bit of it. This is dark chocolate peanut butter, and it is also 250 calories. So both of the peanut butter ones were 250, and the chocolate chunk was 230. And there's some peanuts in there, too. You yes. Can see them. Yes, there's like peanut halves on the back. There wasn't the other one, too. I like that, too. Hmm. The peanut butter is kind of covered up a little bit. Yeah, it is. By the chocolate. It is. You don't get... Um, you get more chocolate comes out of that mm -hmm. than peanut butter. Um, yeah, literally. The, the only thing that the peanut butter does for is it sweetens it up a little bit. Right. So, honestly, I would rather just have the pure peanut butter. If I were to buy one, I'd get the peanut butter. Yeah. The peanut butter is, out of the three, the peanut butter is by far the best one. I'll tell you what, I think, I know they're like 250 calories, but I think you'd be pretty full after eating one of these because they're a show. lot thicker. Mm -hmm. um, they're pretty dense, but not hard. They're just packed in very tight. I agree. Um, yeah, it feels like you're actually eating something. Yes, you yes, and you can take smaller bites, and yeah, 
it, it really feels like you've eaten a meal. Mm -hmm. um, so you could definitely get one of these for breakfast or lunch or whatever on the go and feel like you've had food, you know? Yeah. If I and, ate that and a, an apple or an orange or something, I'd probably mm -hmm. be good for till dinner time or right. till coffee in the afternoon. Yeah, exactly. Because you are, and there's so many textures going on, it gives you a lot to chew. Mm -hmm. And so it's keeping your mouth busy. And it, it's just really not, I think that they did a very good job with them. Yep. But yeah, so, but we're both peanut picking butter. the peanut butter. And yeah. then if I had to pick a second, I would get the uh, dark chocolate peanut butter because I did, the dark chocolate was less bitter than the, the, the regular just chocolate, chocolate. I think because it had the peanut butter. Probably it sweetened it up and help cut that darkness. Right. But the, I, I didn't really like the chocolate chocolate. The, the chocolate, the chocolate, chocolate. yeah. Yeah, it, it's just, it's a plainer bar. It still is good to me, but it, it is plainer. Um, it's not one that I would go to all the time because I want the sweetness. Yeah. Uh, of course, it is um, 20 more calories, but it's for me, for yeah, I was going to say, for me, it's worth the 20 more calories. Yeah. yeah. So, thank you so much again to Sarah for sending us these. I hope you all enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.